Hello. Let's draw a golden spiral given the square which can be seen here on the screen. The first step is to draw a golden rectangle from the square. The first step we are going to calculate the midpoint of the base of the square CD. We are going to draw the perpendicular bisector of the line segment CD. To do this perpendicular bisector firstly we must draw two arcs which are centered on both ends of our line segment CD as can be seen here on the video. These arcs are going to have the same radius. These arcs intersect at two points which we will join to obtain our perpendicular bisector so that we obtain our midpoint M. The next step is to join our midpoint M to point A on the square. With our compass set on M and radius MA we are going to scribe an arc to the right which passes the base of our square, as can be seen here. Therefore, intersecting the prolongation of the base of our square, as can be seen in the video. This point will be the third vertex of our golden rectangle. To find the fourth vertex of our golden rectangle, we must prolongate the top side of our square, BA. And draw a perpendicular vertical line from our third vertex. And where these lines intersect will be the fourth vertex of our golden rectangle. So now that we have a golden rectangle, I must remind you about a very important property of golden rectangles. If we draw a square on one side of our golden rectangle, the remaining rectangle is also a golden rectangle, which can be seen here in our example. The golden rectangle B, C, E, F, and the smaller golden rectangle A, F, E, D. So to continue drawing our golden spiral, we must continue drawing squares in our previously calculated golden triangle. To do this, set your compass on point E, and radius ED. We will scribe an arc to the right to intersect the line EF. From this new point we draw a horizontal line until it intersects with the line DA thus forming our second square and our third golden rectangle. Now I am going to repeat this process by setting my compass on point F to transport the length of the side as can be seen here. And now we have our third square and our fourth golden rectangle. In each of these squares is going to contain an individual piece of our final golden spiral. So let's continue the process. As can be seen, each subsequent square and golden rectangle becomes smaller and smaller. In theory, this process can continue to get smaller and smaller to infinity, but given the instruments that we are using today, we would eventually begin to lose accuracy. So for the moment, we will continue as much as possible. Here we have another golden square and golden rectangle. So continuing our process, we will get our sixth square. This can be seen here. And our seventh golden rectangle. Finally, let's draw one more as I can continue with accuracy beyond this point. So our final square. Now that we have seven squares, we are going to name all of their vertices. 
And now we can draw our golden spiral by drawing individual arcs in each of our seven squares. We will start with the first square. So setting our compass on point A and radius AB, we can scribe an arc as far as point D. This will be the first piece of our spiral. Now with our compass set on point H, we will draw a spiral as far as point G, as can be seen. Now with our compass set on point J, we scribe an arc to the left from G to I. Now with our compass on L, from I to K. As can be seen in the video, the tangential point of the two consecutive arcs are always on the same line as their center points. So continuing, our compass on P from K to N. Now with our compass set on Q, we scribe an arc from point N to R. And finally, with our compass in the center from R to S, we have our golden spiral. The very last step is so we're going to work out the center point of our golden spiral. To do this, we are going to draw two diagonal lines from our first two golden rectangles, CF and AE. Where these two lines intersect, this will be the center of our spiral, which we will call point O. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you very much. I'll see you in our next video. Uh, please subscribe to our channel or click like. Thank you. See you next time.